I'm Jen Jones. And I'm Cynthia Hornig, and we're the co-founders of Outhouse PR. And Women You Should Know. Cynthia and I founded Outhouse in September of 2001. We had been working previously at David Yurman. We were the Yurman's in-house public relations team. We actually sat back to back. There was about three feet of airspace between the two of us. And very quickly, we learned that we have a very similar work ethic and just a very similar approach to public relations and sort of life in general. A lot of people in the industry would approach us and ask us if we knew other publicists that worked the same way that we did. We had a great work ethic, we worked really hard and we yielded amazing results and they felt that they were paying publicists a lot of money and not getting the results that they wanted. We knew that there was an opportunity. We both had an entrepreneurial spirit. We both wanted to own our business, our own businesses and not have to report to someone else and work as hard as we were working for someone else and that's how the whole idea of Outhouse started. It was early September and we started making all the plans that you do when you're venturing out to start a business. And actually it was on September 11, 2001 at 1 p.m. in the afternoon that we were having our phone lines installed. Our offices are a half a block away from the World Trade Center site. There were a lot of things going through our head that day and frankly the, the business was sort of the last of it. We needed to make sure that everyone in our families and all of our loved ones and friends were safe and luckily they all were. Um, a lot of them were working downtown so we just needed to connect with them and make sure people were home. And then once the dust kind of settled literally and figuratively we then sat down and looked at each other and said the world is a completely different place. What have we just done? We left really good jobs to start a business and this is probably the worst time in history you could start a business. When we started to work together and start to think about the brand name, what our company name was going to be, we knew we didn't want our names on the door because we thought that would be kind of not who we are. As publicists, you're not in the forefront, your client is, so we didn't want our names on the door. So I think we were walking through Central Park we were, and we were, we were just going back and forth, and I'd throw out names, and Cynthia would say, oh my God, I hate those, and then she'd throw out names, and I'd say, I hate those. So finally, we were describing sort of what we do, and we said, one of us said, well, we're not in-house anymore, and then the other one said, we're on the outside. And we took out from outside, and house from in-house, and made it outhouse. And we love the double entendre. We really had success right out of the gate with Outhouse. We were very fortunate in that way, but again, people recognized the level of professionalism that we bring to the table and the type of work ethic that we both have, and that's how we were able to be successful so early on, and from there, we just continued to build. The firm has grown by leaps and bounds. We are a full-service public relations agency offering every level of public relations and event marketing under those two umbrellas. We've worked for a lot of major luxury and mass brands in jewelry, watches, and fashion industries. Some of the brands we've worked with are Tourneau, Vertu, Coldwater Creek. Women You Should Know started with uh, an idea that as we started to head towards our 10th anniversary of Outhouse PR that we wanted to really do something that had a little bit more not that PR doesn't have meaning to it, but we wanted to do something more altruistic. We had met all of these amazing women across the time of our careers, and we were talking to some friends about w the way women are portrayed in media and who's being covered and who's not being covered. The platform of, of Women You Should Know for us is really about celebrating everyday women. These are not necessarily women with famous names, they're not women who come from incredible pedigree. They're everyday women, women that you work alongside of, women that you may meet, your neighbor, women who are ordinary. And they're doing extraordinary things. And for us, extraordinary doesn't necessarily mean changing the world. It can mean a lot of different things. They're, they're just incredible women. It can mean changing their own world or making the world a better place or achieving things over adversity or just creating something that's unique for themselves and creating a life for themselves. It gives us a platform to be able to tell the stories of these women, these real everyday women who are doing these incredible things because their stories are not being told. And it's not necessarily because the media doesn't want to tell their stories. It may be because the woman is too humble to think that she deserves recognition for what she's doing. And we want to say, no, what you're doing is important and people, t and people need to know about it. People need to know who you are and what you do. And so that's 
what we're doing with Women You Should Know to give back. I think the overriding thing about the women that we've met over the years that have inspired us is a lot about ambition and about the desire to be able to get things done and do them in a really great kind of unique way that only that one person can do. And we were inspired by that. We would come back to the office, we would talk to our families about these amazing people that we met and wanted to share all of the excitement that we were feeling about meeting these women with other people. Because the launch of Women You Should Know was connected to the 10 year anniversary of Outhouse PR, one thing that was really important to us was to be able to do something connected to September 11th because 2011 was the 10th anniversary of the attacks on the World Trade Center. And when we started thinking about how we could use a platform like Women You Should Know to relate to 9-11, we started thinking about the women of that day, but in particular, the women first responders, because certainly after 10 years, these women should have their stories told. And it was never about separating what the women did from the, what the men did that day, because everyone who was down there that day and in the days following should be honored and celebrated. What we wanted to do was tell the untold stories. And that was, that was really the purpose of, of the first week. We actually had a really hard time finding anything about the women that were down there with the police, with the army, with the fire department. And it just led us to continue to dig a little bit further. And we kept coming across this one name over and over again, and her name is Brenda Berkman. So Brenda was the first woman that we really wanted to profile. After we launched the site, within 48 hours, we got a call from the Huffington Post asking us if they could syndicate the stories of the women first responders that we had posted for their coverage of 9-11. We knew we had a really strong idea when we came up with Women You Should Know. But I think the most exciting part to us has been the reaction we get from other people. People are really looking for places to go for great, smart content, and we hit a nerve. We have a great team at Women You Should Know that works really hard to come up with intelligent, smart, humorous, engaging, premium content that we post every day. One of the most dynamic features of Women You Should Know are the video profiles. We have a different video profile each month and they focus on women across all industries, across all age groups women that are doing very different things, but they have the common theme of passion and truly going after the life that you want for yourself. But the video itself really tells the narrative from the woman's point of view. And it's really genuine. You really get to know her when she's telling her story herself in her own words. In addition to the video profiles that we post once a month, we also do daily blog posts. The daily blog posts are about lifestyle topics that relate to women, health and wellness, sometimes entertainment. We profile other women in that area as well. One of our favorite parts of the site is the Your Story section. The Your Story section of the site is a place where women anywhere across the globe can actually submit stories to us about other women doing incredible things where they live. So it becomes this interactive area and it also helps to build a community of women all over the globe. We think the growth potential for women you should know is exponential just because there are countless women across our country and across the globe that have stories that need to be told and should be heard by other people. So it took a lot of strength and determination to go forward with Outhouse faced with 9-11 happening the day essentially that we opened the doors of our business and we've attacked women you should know with that same zest and enthusiasm because we believe so strongly in this idea and we love the direction that it's going and we also love the pace at which it's taken off we knew it was going to resonate with people but we didn't know the enthusiasm would be as overwhelming as it's been and that the traffic would build as quickly as it has, which we're thrilled about. I think our dreams have always been really big dreams. And I think we want to encourage other women to find their big dreams and to set out to achieve them.